Let me just drink some water here real quick. I'm stressing. I just dropped water all on myself like a hero. Oh no. My sweet goats, why the fuck are you mad? Are you mad about the Outer Worlds being exclusive to the Epic Games Store? Well, don't worry about that because I've got great news for you. It's not exclusive to the Epic Games Store on PC. You'll also be able to get it on the Microsoft Store. But there's some folks in this industry that don't want you to know that. I don't know why. They just seem they just seem to want to, to leave that out. It's just a little bit of a big detail and it kind of, you know, changes uh, the fact that it's not really exclusive to one store on PC. You can get it on two stores on PC. But I know it can be really confusing, so I just wanna do my part and just help you understand this a little bit. At some point last week, the Outer Worlds developers released a statement announcing that you'd be able to find them in four places on launch day. The Epic Games Store on PC, the Windows Store on PC, and the Xbox and PS4. They then went on to say that the game would be available on other digital retailers a year after release, which meant you wouldn't be able to buy it on Steam until the year 2020. And for those of you that are entirely new to gaming and unaware what Steam is, Steam was essentially the OG online retailer that launched back in 2003 and ushered forth the age of digital rights management in video games, otherwise known as DRM, a tiny detail Steam fanboys like to gloss over when defending it. And they're owned by Valve, a company that used to actually produce games but would much rather sit back and collect a fat check from their little video game store these days. And how could they not? For well over a decade, they had somewhat of a monopoly over digital retail in PC gaming and they also took a 30% cut from game sales on their platform which translate to a whole lot of money. Hey, maybe you're looking for an example to help you better visualize just how much money Valve could make off of a really successful title. You know, kind of like uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Have you guys ever heard of this game called Grand Grand Theft Auto 5. Now I just want to spitball some numbers here because uh, I don't really feel like spending time doing hours of research trying to figure out exactly how much Grand Theft Auto cost over the year, years, how many sales they had and figure out this. I just, just spitball some numbers. Let's just go ahead and say the 9 million copies of Grand Theft Auto were sold at, at 80 bucks. That right there is $720 million in sales alone and Valve takes 30% of that. So 30% of $720 million is $216 million, which is essentially just $176 million more than how much it costs to make Half-Life 2, which really makes you think. But let's put all that aside and get back to the topic at hand, which is the fact that The Outer Worlds, a game you're probably excited for and I'm most definitely looking forward to, isn't coming to the Steam Store at launch, which isn't a big issue for me because I'll go wherever the games are at, but appears to be an issue for people that have bought into the hysteria surrounding this announcement. You see, when stuff like this happens, you'll find the media littered with clickbait headlines that will often spur audiences in one direction, which results in a lot of misinformation being spread around. Instead of fair, balanced, fact-based commentary, you'll find new media personalities fabricating headlines that capitalize on and confirm any outrage. Here's a few for visual aid. The Outer Worlds will be Epic Store exclusive and fans are pissed. Epic claims Outer Worlds as exclusive and Steam users are angry as f Outer Worlds bought out by Epic removed from Steam's Epic Game Store is awful. Chris Avalon calls the Outer Worlds exclusivity deal with Epic a cash grab. All of these things kind of gloss over a crucial piece of information that the critics of the Epic Game Store would have liked to have heard. And that's the fact that the game will be available on the Windows Store, which comes pre-installed with Windows 10, the version of Windows everyone should already be on. One of the more common terms being thrown around when discussing this controversy is consumer rights. Apparently, the Epic Game Store doesn't value consumer rights or whatever the f*** that means in this context because outrage mobs like to pick and choose definitions to better suit their agenda. In this case, consumer rights means being able to fill up the store page of any given title with garbage meme reviews or stinky review bombs or trade otherwise useless cards that force you to add money into your wallet just so you can level up your account and have more friends. Honestly, it really does seem like a lot of the criticism around Epic Games comes down to the fact that it's not Steam and that Epic's aggressive capitalistic plays around acquiring exclusivity deals for highly anticipated games is quote unquote scummy behavior. Do I think it's scummy that Epic Games will offer developers who need the cash exclusivity deals? Absolutely not. None whatsoever. I, I do not think that's scummy at all. I believe that anyone can offer anyone exclusivity deals so long as everyone knows exactly what's happening. And the way I see it is that Valve has been resting on their laurels for way too long and uh, they haven't been really giving developers the best possible deal. So I think it's time that they recognize that they're not the only king in the hall now.
But here's the thing, okay? There's definitely some valid criticisms to be made about the Epic Games Store. One of which happens to be about the fact that they were having a look at your Steam folder without really telling you they were, right? which is essentially an invasion of privacy and not really a, a very good look for a multi-billion dollar company to have. I honestly can't blame people for being up in arms about that, especially since a major shareholder is a Chinese corp that's got a bit of a penchant for collecting user data, but they're probably just doing it to sell you more stuff, which is essentially basic corporal rat stuff. Then there's the fact that the store's prices aren't centralized and are region dependent, so a game could be more expensive depending on where you live, which could be an issue, but once again, not something most Western gamers will really need to worry about. One thing is certain though, a lot of the outrage, as usual, is overblown and there has been a lot of unwarranted hate directed towards the developer who are essentially trying to survive in an increasingly cutthroat market and shouldn't be blamed for taking a deal that will inevitably help them. And if you really can't stand the Epic Game Store, then just get it from the Windows Store or wait a year and buy it on Steam. But don't act like this is an affront to your rights because it isn't. No one but you is stopping you from supporting the developer by buying and enjoying the outer worlds. My goats, isn't it just crazy that people can be outraged about something like this? Imagine being outraged about consumer rights. Consumer rights has to be the biggest first world problem ever because it involves us spending money, excess money. We're like, oh, I got more money. I got more money. I don't need to feed myself. I, I just got more money. I'm going to spend it on this thing that I, I just want to buy. Some 12 year old kid in Africa has to play catch with a Somalian pirate and you're here worrying about what games are, are, are being sold on what stores that, that you want to use? If you care about your data, don't get it on the Epic Store then. Just don't get it. Get it on the Windows Store instead. Or just admit that you're a little upset that it's not available on the Steam Store. And you know, it makes your life a little bit more inconvenient. But I just want to remind you, Steam is not the only retailer for PC games. It hasn't been like that for years. Those days are long gone, my friend. Anyway, look, I hope you're not too angry. Just, just feel free to just chill out about this whole situation. Video games, guys. Video games, video games, video games. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Hit the sub button if you want to see more content, and especially if that's the case, ding that bell icon. If you want to catch me on a more regular basis, you can always go ahead and find me at twitch.tv slash MrBuntyKing, where we crush games. We destroyed them. Until next time, I love you. Bye.